What is up, men in front 25 fans? Uh, today we are back with our week two edition of Defensive Scheme of the Week, and today we're going to be focusing on the 46 Bear Under, probably one of the best formations of the game. As you guys checked out my top five defensive formations of Man 25, I said that the Bear Under was probably the best overall formation in the game, and I hold to that. And we're going to show you how to run the Bear Under this year. You're probably wondering if you guys are working on the game, you're saying, man, I don't know how you're running the Bear Under, because I'm trying, and I don't understand how to do it. You know, Outside of the, the blitz of the days we broke down with the two men under and cover two blitzes, how do I get pressure off of both sides out of any coverage? Because that's what the bear under is known for. We're going to show you how to do it this week. We're going to show you all that, guys. So be sure to check that out real quick, though. I want to hop into these quick autos we have set. We like to use the two man under, LB dogs, cover two, and cover three. Now, what we like out of this defense is the ability to do everything global and the ability to have quick pressure at the snap of that ball. So, real quick, guys, this is why you want to set this up. So, the cover three is probably going to be our base zone, cover two is our zone blitz. Cover or uh, LB Dogs is our man blitz, and we have a man coverage and two man under, so that's what we like to do with the audibles. Let's hop into this base play real quick, and then uh, we'll, we'll get ready to show you the rest of the defense in a little bit. So, 4 6 bear under. What we like to do with the four under, bear under for the Bears is I like to put Julius Peppers, I actually like to put him at the left outside linebacker here off, off screen, so I'll sub him in right here, and then I'll put Briggs uh, at the other side. So you have. Now you have a really good linebacking core, and then, you know, you could put Jonathan Anderson. You could stack them, basically create an actual bare front. I mean, do a lot of things with your substitution, guys. We'll break down a depth chart later on in the week, but uh, here we go. So let's just get into the play setup. The base play that we run from this is the, um, is the cover one. And what we like about this cover one is... It's just a different coverage. Uh, a lot of people don't run cover one coverages, and that's just a honest truth. And what we like to do with this is we like to literally just come out, and this is a situation where we like to base a line. We like to go ahead and get them in the habit of baseline and pressing. And we're going to use the free safety in this defense, Conte, here. So what we like to do with this is we like to globally re-blitz, or excuse me, we want to shift our defensive line to the left, and we want to shift our linebackers to the right. Now this is going to create the basic blitzing concept of the 46 bear under. And then what we're going to do is we're going to globally blitz the left outside linebacker on the screen and at the snap of the ball what you're going to see is you're going to generate well you were supposed to generate left edge pressure. I don't know why we didn't do that. Let's see. We'll see what I did wrong here. Oh. Wow. Actually no. I don't think you Yeah you can. Base line. Press. You're going to shift your D-line to the left, shift your linebacker to the right, re-blitz your left outside linebacker, and then you're going to crash your defensive line out. And now, at the snap of the ball, you're going to get that left edge pressure. Sorry, guys. My bad. I made one mistake. So what? <laughs> okay, so the reason I like cover one is because it gets it started off with pressure, and then you can do some other stuff off of it, but it doesn't affect the coverage, which is nice out of the bear under. So baseline press, shift your D-line to the left, shift your linebackers to the right, re-blitz your left outside linebacker, crash your defensive line out and then what I like to do is I like to run man and zone combinations so what I'll do is I'll set up a zone to the right side of the field here so for example I'll put Williams in a purple I'll put Anderson in a hook zone I'll put Tillman in a hook zone and I'll put Conte in a deep blue to the right side that's my responsibility and what I'll do is at the snap of the ball I'll watch this side and then click off and let him go and you see the pressure comes in so fast it's like they don't have time and it's just, it's just that the ability to force the defense to hesitate or force the offense to hesitate rather and um, that's what I really like about this bear under defense and that's what you guys are going to see uh, through the rest of this week is is how we can change our coverage and really force the defense or force the offense to basically just guess what we're going to do and I like to force them to go to the outside here so maybe move these guys in, but you know the the reason is you know this is all global setups. This is you don't have to click on and reblitz anybody in this defense, and that's why it's such an effective defense. Real quick, if you wanted to get streamlined and you wanted to be cute, you could uh, in theory contain Lance Briggs because he's on that side of the field, and then set your play up again. So now you have screen stop to the right as well. Pressure still going to come in. So that's what I like about the Bear Under, guys. This is the base play. Uh, real quick, let's go over the setup one last time for you guys, and then we'll be out of here. Baseline press. Shift your defensive line to the left. Shift your linebackers to the right. You can do all this in like that. You can, like, literally, let me show you here. I'm going to set the play up as fast as I can first. Okay. I don't know why they're not base aligning. Uh, let, me do, let me redo that. Sorry about that. The stupid thing, like, I'm base aligned for me. 
Okay, so just come out like this. Okay, ready, set, go. And there we go. Set up. And, you know, that was about five seconds. You have seven seconds in theory to set up pressure each time. I think I forgot to shift the line left or something, but you, you can get, you can do this in game. There's plenty of time. And uh, if you're focused, if you're locked in, you'll certainly be able to do this in game. Guys, I'm telling you right, right now from experience, uh, this is, you just got to practice. You got to get work on your adjustments, but eventually, guys, you'll be fine and you'll be making adjustments faster than I can. So, again, real quick, set up baseline press. So, triangle right, triangle down. Shift your D-line to the left. Shift your linebackers to the right. And you're going to do this every single time you come out in this formation. Baseline, it's automatic. Baseline press, shift your linebackers to the shift your linebackers to the right, shift your defensive line to the left. And then for the cover one setup, we like to crash our defensive line out, re-blitz that right outside linebacker, and then we like to change our zones here on the right side of the screen. You don't have to do that for the blitz, but this is a nice basic coverage to throw at your opponent to feel them out. And that's why I love about this formation. And that's why I love about a base play, being able to fill up my opponent and uh, force him to drive up the field. And that's what this play is going to do for you guys. You're going to start being able to kind of know what your opponent's doing and also get a lot of sacks on first down. So stay tuned for tomorrow where we're going to be breaking down the basic man coverage out of the 46 Bear under defense. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.